Asus has rather silently announced a new version of its ZenBook Pro 15 notebook. The 15.6-inch screen device which comes with the choice of Intel's Core i9, 8950HK CPU and Nvidia's GTX 1050 GPU. Welcome back to Catnip and come on, let's learn together. The Asus ZenBook Pro 15 is not a single SKU, so there will be plenty of different combinations of hardware, including a wide choice of CPUs with the Core i5-8300H, that is the Hexagon Edition, clocked at 2.3GHz, the Core i7-8750H, that is also a Hexagon Edition, clocked at 2.2GHz, or the fabled Core i9-8950HK, that is still another Hexagon Edition but clocked higher at 2.9GHz, for the mobile CPU and an NVIDIA GTX. 1050 GPU with 4GB of GDDR5 memory as a standard choice. There will also be a choice between either a 15.6 inch Full HD screen that is 1920x1080 pixels with an optional touchscreen or a 15.6 inch 4K or Ultra HD touchscreen that's at a higher 3840x2160 pixel resolution, both coming with a 7.3mm bezel for 83% screen to body ratio. The rest of the specification includes 8GB or 16GB of DDR4 memory clocked at 2400 MHz, 512 GB or 1TB of PCIe SSD fast storage or 256 GB or 512 GB of SATA 3 SSD storage, 2 USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C ports, 2 USB 3.1 Type-A ports, HDMI output, full-size backlit keyboard, glass-covered touchpad with optional integrated fingerprint sensor supporting Windows Hello, Harman Kardon certified Asus Sonic Master stereo audio with an array microphone setup, VGA webcam, dual band, AC Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5, and Ethernet with optional USB to LAN port dongle enabled. Using premium materials like a solid aluminium unibody, the Asus ZenBook Pro 15 measures 36.5 cross 25.1 cross 1.89 cm and weighs 1.86 kg which is impressive considering it comes with a 71 Wh 8 cell battery capable of keeping it alive for up to 9 hours. Unfortunately, Asus product page or the page release do not reveal any details regarding the price or availability or date, so we'll have to wait for it to become available on retail or e-retail stores. And even though we would have liked a wider choice of GPUs as the GTX 1050 will have a hard time coping with anything other than casual gaming, we still get a pretty solid device thanks to the Core i9, so we'll just have to wait and watch. So that's it for this video and we hope you liked it. A million thanks to our dear subscriber family for your continuous love and support and until next time stay tuned for more.